Have you ever noticed this? Some books complicate simple topics and some books simplify complex topics. Well, I'm back with one more book review and today I'll share across one amazing book that I've discovered for absolute beginners to get a hold on LLMs to understand transformers in and out. So the book that I'm referring to is this book, Super Study Guide for Transformers and LLMs. I personally believe this is an amazing book for you to start and understand LLMs in a very simplified manner. Have you ever noticed a trend that a lot of people have become self-proclaimed AI gurus? Well, a lot of people have very little knowledge of how LLMs work. You just have to ask 3-4 questions and you will understand that this person is not very proficient with LLMs. Why is this happening? Do you have any idea? Well, the answer is very simple. What sells is where you have to sell. Did you understand? So, if LLMs are selling today, then everyone's moving towards LLMs. If you look at the major organizations as well, everyone's diverting their attention towards AI, NLP and LLMs. I just use the word attention because that is where the entire LLM piece came into existence, right? So attention is all you need is the first starting point. But if you're not very comfortable with it, then this is something that you should start off with. This book breaks complex topics into very simple, easy to digest, understandable snippets. It doesn't deprive you of mathematics. It gives you all the mathematics that you require and it explains the mathematics really well. It starts off with foundations, which is what I really like about any book. So it starts off with neural networks, what a neural network is, what is backpropagation. The premise is built on basics, which is foundations like neural networks, backpropagation, etc. Then the book moves towards embeddings. Now, embeddings are a very complex topic. Which embedding do you choose in your use case is very subjective. So for example, if you're building an e-commerce website, you cannot use a general purpose embedding, right? Because there are words which mean different in e-commerce as compared to in general purpose English, right? So how do you fine tune embeddings? But at the base of it all or at the crux of it all, what exactly are embeddings is what is covered here very beautifully. Then we jump to the transformer section. So there is an entire section on transformers. They've clearly showed the entire path of how data travels from the encoder section to the decoder section in a very simplified matrix form. So if I input a sentence, how is that converted into a matrix? How does that matrix move up through the encoder, then towards the decoder and then how does it produce the output? All of this is explained very beautifully. One thing that I want to add here is everyone's fascinated by the latest and greatest models. But for a lot of use cases, for 70% of the use cases, you can get your job done with the highest accuracy level possible with a simple model like BERT. BERT is such a popular model that if you can utilize BERT for your use case really well, then most of your task in NLP can be solved. And this book covers BERT really well. Then finally, we have two chapters that remain and one of them talks about fine tuning. Now, everyone wants to build, say, a large language model for their private data. And this is like a common requirement that you would see in industries right now. Every organization is pushing themselves to create a fine tuned LLM for your data. Now, how is fine tuning done? What are LoRa adapters? What are the different techniques involved in fine tuning? All of this is also covered in this particular book. And finally, you have applications. You have LLMs which are like the structural foundational block of what you want to create and what you want to utilize. But what are the applications? What can you do with it is what is covered in the application section. So rather than having a text only book which becomes really boring, it's very easy for the human mind to understand if things are written in a more visually appealing manner rather than say text only 
which is where this book is full of visuals which will help you understand complex topics in a very simplified manner once you have a good understanding of how llms work it is then that you can start creating amazing applications with llms so this is what i wanted to share across i wanted to share across this amazing book that you should try out you should learn from it and you should start implementing llms once you have a good fundamental knowledge of how llms work this is what i wanted to share go grab your copies from the link that i'll share in the description section of this particular video uh, if you find any other link you can buy it from there but i believe uh, my job is to help you uh, go through the best resources that are available currently there are multiple books you would get confused but the resources that i'm recommending are the best resources that you can possibly find in llms i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching the video